Now that's a storm. Ooh, I was gonna show you guys what I just, where I just was. I was at this place called Skycraft, which is back there. But uh, I got a bunch of LED stuff that I wanted to show you guys that we're gonna work on tonight because it's raining. Uh, yeah. This, my friend, is a, what is that? 24 pack of infrared LEDs that I'm gonna hook up to a nine volt battery. I got two of these uh for halloween horror nights then i got 18 plain old infrared look at how old my hands look infrared leds that i'm going to try to replace the leds in a little led flashlight type thing that i got so this is the light that i want to take the leds out of and hopefully replace with infrared ones which i'll show you why a regular remote control has an infrared at the top if i turn it on it starts flashing like i'm pressing a button it starts flashing now, if I get it really close to the wall, you can see that light on the wall through my camera. Most cameras, most digital cameras, you can do this with. Um, I'm hoping that when I, when I replace the LEDs in this one here, it will be a lot brighter because there'll be so many of them. You'll be able to see just like this, where it, come on, shines on the ground like that. Really good. I'm hoping. Check it out, finally got my sunglasses back. Uh, uh, what was I, oh, I gotta run to Target real quick. Target and Publix real quick before we get started on the uh, the infrared stuff. Cause I need batteries to run the, the two big infrared panels. So let's go do that real quick and then we'll come back and do this, it'll be fun. Oh, but I was like trying to find nine volt batteries but they were hidden, I couldn't find them. There they are. These first two are gonna be easy. I got these little nine volt things and I could actually just like daisy chain them together like this where I put my black here to this one and my red there to that one. But I figured they'd be brighter if they had their own individual power source. So that's what I'm going for. I'm just gonna run two batteries up to it and if they're bright enough we'll go get a box eventually and we'll put them in a little box make make a light that looks something like this but with those you know and then we're gonna break into this guy yeah boy hopefully i don't have to add any solder because this is the solder that i have which is huge and uh somebody left this on this is one of my soldering irons from work somebody left it on and it the tip is now burnt so it doesn't uh doesn't hold solder anymore. I got one of them all soldered up. Moment of truth. I have to look at the uh, the camera lens to see if it actually worked because I can't tell. Oh, it does work. Look at that. Hmm. Is it bright? It's not really that bright. I mean, it's fairly bright. Let's go look at it in a dark room. This is my dark room. This is in the closet. It's as pitch black as I get. That's not too bad. I mean, it, it's it's illuminating pretty good. Yeah, here it is right here. That's what's shining right now. Oh, and they are a little bit red. I can see a little bit of red coming out of them. So here's Jen's jewelry box. Let me get the other one hooked up and then we'll have two in here. And it'll be awesome. Two times the infrared light. It's pretty good. It's not quite a... Uh, as good as I'd like for it to be, but it's not bad. I mean, I feel like I'm pointing them in the wrong direction anyways. I can't see which way they're facing. But now we can get a little bit further away from the jewelry box. Let me just try to get them a little bit closer together here. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right? What do you guys think? All that we need to do now is get a box for these two and uh, a switch that switches it on and off so that they don't just stay on all the time. And we got ourselves a little light. It's pretty powerful too. I can't wait to try it with this one. All right, we're back from a quick break. I ate some dinner real quick. Let's open this guy up and see uh, what it looks like on the inside. And just, just so we can get an idea of uh, what's happening in there. Let's see what we got here. How hard are we attached? Oh, and then there's two that run up to the front. Okay, three that run up to the front. All right. Piece of cake. Now all we gotta do is replace all these LEDs, which these LEDs are very large, with these LEDs. Much smaller. I replaced one way down here. This is probably gonna be so hard to see because it's gonna be so bright. Hey. 
those still work, but now these don't. Does the first one work? All right, I must have done something wrong. Let's figure it out. Well, I don't know what was going wrong, but we have to try to figure out if that one is lit. I don't even know how we're gonna figure that out. Doesn't look like it is. So let's play, it's, it might be backwards in there. That's what I thought the whole problem was before that it wasn't lit. LEDs are only one way. Can you guys see if that one over there is lit? It kind of looks lit, doesn't it? I don't know, I gotta do more of them. I replaced an entire row of them but now it won't turn on over there. Those work, nothing, and then nothing happens. This gets pretty darn hot, which is a resistor, so I can imagine that maybe I'm just overloading this circuit, so it, it won't work. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a, a project for another day because I'm running out of daylight. I'm running out of time, gotta go to bed. The good news is we have these, and these things were pretty darn cheap. I think they were $2.50 a piece. So, they're already done up. I could go and get like, I don't know, like five of them total and put those in a little project box with uh, maybe, I don't know, a couple of uh, batteries or maybe one or two batteries. We'll see, we'll see. It, uh, I have to get really close because when I start filming. <laughs> Jen was super impressed with our uh, what are those things called? Infrared LEDs. I I like I like the the packet better. I have a friend at work that's really good with um, LEDs, so I'm taking the infrared, the yellow thing that we were working on, to him. I'm gonna say, hey, what's going wrong with this? Like, why isn't this working correctly? And he'll be like, oh, this resistor is not right, and he'll help me figure that out. Um, and we'll do that, and then hopefully that'll get working. But for right now, I think what my main plan is, is to buy maybe like two more, three, four more of these, and then maybe one more of these, and then daisy chain one on top of the other there and put them in a box and then add a switch so that, uh, or add maybe three switches so that I can like control sensitivity. And then get do it three nine volt batteries running a whole boatload of these infrared LEDs. Should be pretty sweet. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.